Here we are again. Look at my hair. It's all messed up. Should I wear my hat? Yeah. Like that. <laughs> so, if you want to support the channel, click the link in the description box below. It would be much appreciated. For those of you who have, thank you very much. I'm running a list of people. I just don't have the list with me right now. Otherwise, I'd be able to name names and say thank you very much. We're going to be talking about this. Look, I'm getting all high tech and shit. We're going to be talking about that suspension here in just a minute. So stay tuned. I'm going to get things ready so we can have it aimed at the TV. I got a freaking pointer. We're going to do some pointing and explaining of what I'm about to do to my truck this weekend. Let's see if we can make this work without the phone falling off the stand that it's on. I've got like a couple cups and a noodle bowl all stacked up on the top of each other and we're going to talk about this picture right here. This is my current suspension that everybody's freaking out on. We have a problem on the internet of jumping ahead of what somebody's doing and wanting to just be able to just talk crap about something. This is unfinished. I've already said this before. There's going to be bracing. I am going to say that I appreciate some of the constructive criticism that's going on about how this is all set up. Okay. I understand this is not strong enough, but from what people have said, I'm going to add some more things to the way this is. I was going to only add a piece going straight across here just to rib this up so that this wasn't, wasn't, uh, as weak and it could be stronger. Uh, I was, uh, already going to put some bracing underneath here after talking with a couple of friends of mine. Uh, it'll go on the bottom. You won't see it on the top, but then again, the bed will be covering it anyway. So I want it underneath that way. If you get under the truck, you'll be able to see the bracing that's on there. Um, let's go to the, uh, I think I can figure this out. We got the next picture here, put it back on pause. This is down at the very bottom. I plan on putting gussets on the back and on the other side front on both of these. That way it stops these from being able to move across. But I'm also going to add in gussets all the way across as in here in this next picture here. I'm going to put gussets and bracing and almost box this in all the way across. That way it doesn't have any left to right movement and it holds it stronger to this. I might even put some plating on the underside of this. I haven't decided that just yet, but this is the way that is. On the front side of this, let's go to the next picture here. This is a exploded view of kind of what I'm thinking. I was already going to put gussets on these. That was a given factor. I was gonna put a gusset on that and a gusset there going down on this side and up on the other side. Why am I doing that? Because you can't go down on the other side from here because of the way the C notch is, you can't go down on the gusset. So the gusset's gonna go up on that one, down on this one, and likewise. This is a rough idea. I know I wanted to box in this, not necessarily box in, but put a plate here and a plate over here. What that does is that helps to strengthen this bridge I'm going to put a brace going straight across here. Somehow, I'm not sure what it's going to look like. It might just be straight across or whatever. But what it's going to do is it's going to reinforce this. I don't know what the hell this is going to look like just yet. This is just showing you that I'm going to put a brace from here to here to make sure that this can't flex forward or back. But underneath this... I'm gonna put a gusset going from here all the way down as far as I can get it on the front side. So on the front side, on the inside here, there'll be a gusset going down. What that's gonna do is that's gonna stop that from being able to pull back or push forward while I'm driving down the road. It'll help to reinforce all of that as well. So this is all the reinforcements. I, I've said that I was gonna gusset these corners to begin with in some of my videos, but you guys like watching six minutes of a 20 minute video 
which doesn't allow me to explain everything, which some of you probably already skipped forward on this one because you saw the picture. So you're assuming what is going on here and that's where you're probably going to mess up. And then, you know what? I think when I get done, I'm just going to post it on the bag board wall of shame so that they can go ahead and see it and I'll be the one putting it on there rather than anybody else. <laughs> So that's what that's looking like. Um, let's go ahead and go to the next one. Boom. This is where I plan on putting the compressor, another compressor, and I'm gonna figure out a way. I've got a big air tank. I need to measure it and see if it'll fit in this area right here. I'm not sure exactly how it's gonna go. I've got a smaller tank that could probably hang crossways in there. But this is the plan. This is what it's gonna look like. And that's that's all I got. You want to see an upside down picture of my truck because it didn't load right? Boom. There it is. <laughs> it's so low, it's stuck to the ceiling. But anyway, yeah, that's everything that's going on with the truck. All the reinforcements that I plan on making, uh, stabilizing everything and making sure that everything is going right. Uh, let me go back to that one right there. Uh, let me... I want to address something. Some, some, somebody said, look, there's already pressure on your bag, uh, upper bag mounts and they're bending and they're flexing up. No, I welded them in at an angle like that at an upward angle on purpose. Why? Because once I get them mounted, there's no air in these right now, mind you. Look, there's not even an airline going between the two. So these are just pss, 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 as you push on them. There's, they're not holding nothing. But anyway, when I finally drill a hole right here underneath and I mount them, okay, what this is doing is this is at an angle in, okay, at an angle in. What that's doing is that's helping to put in a pressure on both sides. No, it's not enough, but it's just a little extra pressure on both sides, pushing the axle to center. So that's not instant center, but it will actually push it instantly to the center because you're pushing on both sides and this one's pushing that way and this one's pushing that way. So there's where it'll help that to stabilize it in the center so that it doesn't move outside of the area. If it was straight up and down, it would allow a little bit of extra wobble room, but with the way these are angled and they come all the way out to underneath they literally go underneath the axle over here uh, under the C-notch. That's how far out I made these go on both sides. They're all the way out to here. So these are out as far as I can get them. That's why I put them in as far as I could get them. And then, of course, the straight bars here. These are almost solid. They're quarter-inch thick, one-inch bars, uh, hardened steel. If you stand on them, they don't flex. And I got 300 fucking pounds I can put on this right in the center and it will not bend. Uh, maybe if I jump on it, I, I, I might can start getting a tiny flex out of it. But I, I, last time I jumped on it, it didn't do nothing. So there's that. That's the whole thing. I've got one more thing. I want to show you guys the way these look on the bottom. My proposed plan on those. All right. Don't get too impressed by my picture here. On the right side of the screen, right there where the arrow's pointing at it, that is a two inch round raised two inches, also uh, tubing, and it's gonna be welded into place. Then I'm gonna have half inch, uh, two inch raised steel that's gonna taper down to both ends. I'm also gonna have a quarter inch uh, pieces that you'll that are right there as well that are going to be shorter that are going to help <clears throat> to completely reinforce the rest of that whole area that's where the bag is going to be creating the most amount of pressure so i want to be able to have that as secured as possible so that it can't bounce at all this is what i'm going to do to the bottom side of this right there so there you go and there you have it. Everything fully explained. Uh, this weekend, I'm going to start working on all of that. It may take one or two weekends to get all of the welding and fabricating of all of those pieces done so that I can get them onto the truck. I'd like to start at least tack welding some of it. I'm going to have a lot of rust uh, 
the, everything will end up getting painted, but right now my main concern is getting everything together. Then that way, once I get all that done, then I can go back and I can re remove all of the rust and put everything, uh, you know, clean it up and then paint it. But right now, this is the main concern that I have, that all of you have, is how I'm going to be reinforcing this. I think it's a little overkill personally, but I want to make sure that I'm happy you guys are happy and everybody feels comfortable with me going down the road. If you still don't feel comfortable with me going down the road, then don't drive alongside of me. Okay. I usually tell everybody where I am and that's all there is to it. I'm going to build this truck. It's going to work. All of my other trucks worked. So I don't see why this one wouldn't. So I'm done explaining myself. I know a lot of you are, right now are saying, why do you have to explain yourself so much? Well, I, I, I feel I need to. Hell, let me put a disclaimer out there. I'm not a builder. I'm not insured to, to, to build trucks. I'm not an engineer. I'm not a welder by trade. I drive a damn truck. I'm in it right now. This is what I do. You know, you take my advice at your own risk, literally. You know, I've told you guys this for years. I just do what I got to do because this is what I love to do. I love fucking mini trucking. I love driving a fucking mini truck. It's been years since I've had one that actually fucking worked. So, I mean, I want back in a goddamn mini truck. I want to be part of fucking Freaks of Nature. I want to earn my tribals. I get this damn truck together. That's it, man. I just, I love, I love fucking mini trucks. I love all of my family at Fleet, at with the Freaks of Nature Car Club. I love all my family that's in the car community. I love all you guys. I'm not going to do nothing to jeopardize that. So, we'll see you guys on the next video. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. More build videos coming. Start watching a little bit more of the video. <laughs> it might help you out in knowing what the hell's going on. Comment at the bottom. Thumbs up. See you guys on the next video. Later.